What's going on guys? Back with another video in Diablo Immortal. I wanted to touch base on this new patch and it looks really good. Um, there is, you know, a lot of people not liking the new resonance system for the 8k player plus resonance. Um, but there is a lot of things that are going to improve the quality of life. The big thing, of course, is the viable Dawning Echo now for 10,000 Platinum, which is awesome. Uh, the awakenings of the actual uh, gems at only rank 5 now, which is going to help out your build, as well as give you something to put your gems in, especially as a free-to-play player. If you run Orange Crest, you're not stuck there with those gems, and you have nothing to do but burn them for gem power, now you can use them for resonance. Um, I like the new wings that come out. Let's just go over this real quick, because I want to go over the set pieces and look at it. I have not looked at any of the new legendary items or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hold on, my cousin texted me. One minute, real life problems. Uh, what did I say? Uh, one minute, so yeah. Um. So, sorry, I have to go back and forth between text messages to get them. All right, so let's see. Bolster your prowess of runes. This is going to be awesome. I love this. I love giving... Things you can get in the game, you can sell for platinum, so it gives free-to-play people chances to make more platinum, as well as, look at that, critical hit damage increased by 12%. This is going to be nasty. I love this. This is going to give you that, that build diversity. Not everyone's going to be running the same build, the same runes, or anything like that. Um, let's get this. Survive Terrier Incarnate. This is for the runes. Uh, Survivor Castle, Urban, and Reap the Rewards. It's another thing, I believe. Not really worried about that. Abyssal Essence. This is this is cool. Uh, new Legendary Gem. The Fire Star Gem seems like, man, it's not too overpowered. I'm going to, of course, try it. And I love the new cosmetic. Wow, that looks really good. That looks really good. The new gem looks okay. It's... It's good, but it's not like super, super overpowered. I still think Starfire as a CC gem is still a lot better. And I'm loving this new uh, legendary Paragon skill. This is cool. I like this. Okay, I like this. That's nice. So you get a sixth one that gives you a bonus. I like that. The new tree. Wow, look at this. After leaving combat, you become the chosen one, granted 40% damage reduction. Holy moly. I don't know how that's going to work. I can't see all of them, but it's going to be cool. New affixes. We're going to get down to the actual new legendaries coming because that's what I want to go over. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> new Phantom Gallery. I like this. Of course, it's going to be just like the other Phantom Gallery. The chance of a 4 to 5 star is really nice. This is dope. 12,000 resonance. Look at that. Holy moly. Look at the wings. Jesus. It's going to take up everybody's screen. Okay, what are we doing here now? Gym resonance. Up, up, up. Dawning Gecko, of course. New wings at 9,000. I might be able to reach 9,000. We'll see. I got some stuff in my inventory. New Helicory bosses. This is dope. Oh, he looks cool. Or she. I don't know what it is. I'm not, sending your, I'm not assuming your gender there, bud. Eater of Storms. Ooh, it's a horse with a person. That's dope. Zechariah. Oh, I love that. What is this? The Fisher's Ruin. That's cool. 
Purge the Darkness. That's cool. New Legendary Adams. Here we go. Let's go over Barbarian. Okay. Offhand, Hammered Ain't just now orbit you for several seconds, dealing damage to all enemies. Oh, man, you're going to have a rotating Hoda build now? That's going to be nice. Uh, cold Temper Chest, Hammer of the Ancients, also shatters frozen enemies, dealing damage. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of this damage to frozen enemies with the new set coming out. Is a freezing set. Instead of poison, now you're going to be able to CC and deal damage to them. Cleave now calls Twin Rhyme access to Orb you. Holy moly. Causing chilled enemies to become frozen. Uh, Snow Drifter sounds like another one. Yep, Chilling. Uh, the helmet, Squirm Skull. While Spin is active, your attack speed increased by 15%. Projectile speed increases by 40%. Rithering Mental. Flea damage. Man, no one uses Flea, really. NBG's Blood Knight. Drown Chapter Helm. Wave of Blood also causes enemies to bleed, dealing damage over 2 seconds. They're a tide off hand, wave of blood, and that creates a swarming pool that surrounds you. Okay, so they're giving they're giving a blood knight a moving wave of blood now. Okay. That's gonna be like the uh necromancers. Uh perilous harbor. What does this do? Sanguine it now causes you to dash forward in a torrent of blood, dealing damage to enemies along your path and causing them to bleed. Okay, we'll see how that works. Riven Reef Shoulders, Tendrils of Blood, deals additional damage when hitting a bleeding enemy. Tallyman's Pin, Main Hand, Tendrils of Blood also increases your damage by 5%. For 3 seconds. A lot of Tendrils of Blood, huh? Okay, sorry, more, more beautiful work stuff. Come on. Okay, just tendrils of blood, tendrils of blood. That was never really meta in PvP. Crusader shoulders, following sword, also temporarily grants a shield, absorbing damage and providing immunity to loss of control. And knockback, absorber shield cannot trigger more once in every two seconds. Wow. That's nice because the only shoulders that they had were Conjuration Light Duration. Now you get a shield. Doesn't say how big it is, but this loss of control knockback can be nice. When Falling Sword hits a shocked enemy, it calls down a bolt that deals lightning damage. Cannot trigger against the enemy more often than once every one second. Flail of Verve. Falling Sword is now channeled, causing you to move forward with continuous slashes, dealing damage, and applying shock. Oh, that, that sounds pretty neat. But it's channeled, so it won't be good. Now guard. Or is that not guard? Maybe. Of course, it's being weird now. Uh, look out. Helm. First Fist of Heavens now continuously strikes a target area with lightning damage. Scorn the pawn pants. Fist of the heavens also stuns. Shocked enemies for two seconds. Cannot occur more often than once every four seconds. So with barbarians getting freezes, while they're not blood knights getting anything but more bleeds. Crusaders getting shocked. So what's demon hunter getting? Okay. Sentry now summons focused hatred that follows you and automatically attacks nearby enemies. Is this a new meta? Because the helmet was the meta, part of the meta before the strafe meta. Hmm, we'll see. Bristling Execration, main hand. Each additional sentry close to your sentry have their damage increased. Okay. Trying to embrace chest. Okay, so new vengeance. New vengeance chest. During vengeance, your sentry. And I try summons fire piercing beams. What are they giving disintegrate to uh to to, to demon hunters? <laughs> it's gonna be neat. Uh malign salvation. Hitting enemies with primary attacks reduces centuries cooldown by 0.15 second. Sailor's pins pants. Night trap now summons 
Focus discipline that follows you and fires blazing. Okay, this is cool. I like that. And then vigilant spalders. Knife trap marks enemies for three seconds. Sentry damage against marked enemies. Of course, it's being weird. Increased by 30%. Okay, so nothing really big there. I don't think the meta is going to change. Monk. The best class in the game. Empty cups. What the fuck? Uh, flying dragon also conjures a tornado for 1.5 seconds after striking the same enemy multiple times in quick succession, dealing additional damage. Flying dragon also conjures a tornado for 1.5 seconds after striking the enemy same enemy multiple times in quick succession but it don't make no sense so we'll see how it reads when it comes to the actual game humbled horizon inner sanctuary now follows you increases the primary attack speed of nearby ally oh that's nice that's real nice thousandth cut fist of thunder damage is increased by eight percent for each of normal status on the enemy up to a maximum of 32 percent so it looks like we're going they're going with a primary attack build for monk uh flying dragon what's this nest of vipers a chess piece flying dragon now grants you dragon strike causing each primary attack to release a damaging wave of energy that could be cool rip current shells shells shoulders and prison fists not great to waning flare causing each primary attack to release a wave of energy that slows enemies so it doesn't stun them again they're not going with stuns anymore on monk and that's that's a that's it that's an issue etar's count countenance and prison fist and also this enables an enemy's dash skills for three seconds to struck by thin inner sanctuary meh of course, nothing. Blood Rot Divinity. Look at that. I can't wait to read that. I'm just looking at the names of them. Blood Rot Divinity offhand. Corpse Dance no longer consumes courses. Instead, it's consuming nearby bleed effects to form lances that attack enemies. Oh, wow. That could be cool. A new offhand? Because the only thing you had offhand for fucking Necro was the uh, Soul Fire, really. I guess that the meta was so fire, the explosion. That'll be a little bonus for them. Caress of the Forbidden Shoulders. Corpse Explosion now consumes corpses in a target area, causing tendrils to reach out, damaging all nearby enemies and pull them in. Wow. That's going to be good. <laughs> That's going to be good. Let's try and connect the phone here. Turn that off. Uh, let's see what else we got here for Necro. What we got? Exquisite Quartz Mayhem. Grim Scythe now releases a blast of reaping wind, dealing and damage and generating corpses. Oh, that's cool. Hemorrhaging Shadow Pants. Grim Scythe applies bleed, dealing damage over for three seconds. Inscrutable Watcher Helm, Corpse Lance triggers explosions after hitting enemies four times in a short period, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Damage from additional explosion to the same enemy is reduced by 50%. So that could be really, really, really powerful. Jacket Chitin. So they're going with Corpse Explosion, looks like. Corpse Explosion also increases critical hit chance by 5% for three seconds. Wow, that'll be actually able to increase with Vithus, so that'll be nice. So that can go up to 15%. Stacks three times. Tempest, here we go. The newest class. People want it. People wanted a nerf. Well, some people did. On Tempest, let's see what they did here. Breathtaker shoulders. Wind walk now conjures. Slices the run around you as you move, damaging and slowing random enemies. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's 
Still not going to be uh, better than the one shoulders, and I hope they fix it. I get you out of uh, CC. Deep redial mayhem. Squall now causes you and your Zephyrs to dash forward, damaging enemies in your path. If a bleeding enemy is struck, they will take all remaining bleed damage instantly. Resetting Squall's cooldown. No. Oh. Now they're throwing. I main Tempest right now. That right there. And they just made Blade Dance really good. Because if you don't know right now, Blade Dance has <laughs> a eternal affix that is really good. I believe it's crit. Blade Dance now unleashes a circular wind blade dealing damage and causes enemies to bleed. Look at the pants. Howling Anchor. Crosswinds also causes enemies to bleed. Dealing damage for 5 seconds of bleed. That's going to get nerfed. Nope. That's way too powerful. 5 seconds is going to get nerfed to 3. I already know it's for a second. I already know it's for a fact. That plus the, the new man hand is ridiculous. Okay, Ripper Jaws. When it becomes empowered after using 3 skills causing your next primary attack to release her... Rending gust dealing what the fuck? Oh sorry, excuse my language. Dealing damage and causing enemies to bleed over for what? <sighs> Slippery shell chest. Squall also increases your damage by eight percent. Stacking up to three times. Uh, yeah, that's going to be because you're going to have no cooldown, man. With the main hand and the chest. Oh, my God. But that makes Zephyr Guard. See, this is, it's just, this is good, though, because Zephyr Guard right now, this is what gives you your your dash and your uh, your stun on Flowing Strike. So it's going to give you some options. I like it. I like it. The bleeds is, is going to be overpowered. Those pants are ridiculous. That's... The pants and the new main hand. I mean, just I'm, I'm gonna replace my pants with these, and the uh, and the wind walk, not the wind walk, but the um, the wind's edge main hand that gives it more damage. Like that's that's not even that's crazy, man. Depending on the range, this does. But I mean, just the resetting squall's cooldown is gonna be crazy. Okay, wizard, can they get any help? <laughs> Changlings, guys. Scorched out fires, piercing ice shards, and nearby chilled or frozen enemies bouncing once when hitting frozen enemies. Okay, so the new set is going to be for Wizard and Barbarian, it looks like. I like that, you know. Every uh, class can use it, but kind of, you know, the more uh, two classes could be better. Expedient escape. Teleports, cooldowns, reduced for each frozen enemy. Wow, look at this. A little bit more escape ability. That might be good. Ice spike main hand. Every five seconds, the next magic missile becomes a frost missile, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. So they're going to be really good with that new set. Fractured footsteps. Pants. Teleport is now ice step, dealing damage and freezing enemies. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this. A wizard's getting some help. You're getting a teleport. A freezing teleport. That's that's actually really good. Let's see on a sorrow chest. Frostfield now grants you creeping chill, causing your attacks to chill enemies and freeze them on criti critical hits. And that's that's all attacks. That's skills primary and everything. Weathering chill offhand. Scorch critical hit chances increased against chilled or frozen. Okay, that's dope. Yeah, so here's the set item. Might as well pray for Ed Winter. Might as well change it to Prayers of the Barber or our, our Wizard because that's what it's for. I'm not even going to read that. I mean, like the two pieces, 
Attacking chilled enemies in 30% when attacking frozen enemies. <laughs> Wild, man. Wild. Uh, four piece, 30% chance to freeze already chilled enemies for three seconds when applying additional chill to them. Cannot freeze the same enemy player more often than once every 10 seconds. Six piece, of course, is you gain mountain's breath for 12 seconds. Causing your attack to shatter chill or frozen enemies. Chilled enemies take increased damage. About, uh, and frozen enemies take massive damage. So that's probably 60, 50 to 60 percent. So that's gonna be busted. This is gonna be nice. I'm gonna like this. New wings. <sighs> and now this that looks really good. That looks that look good. But why would you put a monk on there? Why did you put a monk? That is a monk's cosmetic. I don't know about play no damn monk. <laughs> Relive completed quest. Okay, I don't really care. Okay, so we're getting a new Adventurer's Chronicle. What the f What just happened? I don't care about that. The Field and Survivor's Bane. Okay, so we got new Tempest skills in there, which is really cool. Okay, let's see if they got anything. All the returning feature updates. Server merge. So not this time, but the next content update. Curse gears. With the removal of ancestral items early this year, we are making improvements to cursed items as of this update. So pretty much they're just giving you ancestral items. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's going to be no negative effects on Curse Gears. Even with negative stats removed from Cursed items, they still will not be more powerful than Legendary Gear. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Okay, I like this. Okay, I like this. Increasing the chances to get Legendaries. I like this. Oh my god, did they listen to me? Did they listen to me? I said, hey, you know, if you don't get anything by your last tower, give us a guaranteed something for our time. Because, I mean, those, I mean, if you're like me and just, you know, go for the whole time, you're in there for 10 to 11 minutes, you know what I mean? Paragon tree quality of life changes. We made a few changes to the paragon trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remove all ancestral and invocation items. We are decoupling ancestral blessings attributes from ancestral weapons. Existing ancestral items will return to your inventory. Hmm. So what are you going to do with the warband stuff? What is going to be in the tableau? If we do not have ancestral items, what is going to be in our tableau and our warband? Hmm. This is going to be... Very weird. Very, very weird. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, battleground class balance changes. Okay. So now we got cleave. Now starts at 6% and stacks 3 times up to 18%. Demoralize. Look at this. Also removes all beneficial effects from affected enemies. What? Oh, that's busted. Decalator. Cleave damage of the first two attacks. The sequence increased by 13% damage of the third. The last will. Hammer damage is damage and radius increase. Both the hammer and strike eruption. Uh, Renton at Rage, Hammer to Ancients. Damage per stack increased by 8% to 10%. Oh, I'm gonna watch this one right quick. Excuse me. Ain't nobody good. Blood Knight, Bloody Wash, damage stack increased from 8% to 10%. Okay, so they getting getting a little buff there to the Bloody Waltz. That was the pants, by the way, I believe. Uh, they reduced that before so now they're buffing it back up it's just just a waste 
Uh, Golden Skull, a swarm of bats no longer targets a location with swarm of bats. Instead, the swarm is now centered on the player and follows them, dealing damage over time that increases by 150, 150% once the enemy has been at... Wow! Holy moly! That's huge! Fallen like mephitic cloud. No longer releases a static cloud of poison. It's mist. Instead, the mist follows you. With a 25% small radius and its damage over time increases by 150% once the enemy has been in the cloud for at least two seconds. Okay. Venerated closeness. Tensions of blood. No one cares about that. <laughs> Conjury and battleground rider bags are duration of the immunity effect from Conjury will be reduced. By 50%. Each time a player receives the buff again within 16 seconds. Was originally 20 seconds. Wow, they are debuffing Conjuration of Light again. Wow. 16%. Now, now it's 16 seconds, not 20. Jesus Christ. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Sorry, I'm taking all that in. Do, 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 who that is? Uh, unholy wall, holy banner movement speed bonus reduced from. Reduced. Movement speed reduced from 50% to 12% per stack, but stacks have increased from 3 to 5. With a new max on 60%. Okay, so that's a little bit of buff and a rework. That's not bad. Kedgestan Sunrise Falling Sword damage increased by 38%. Okay, Mask of Condemnation. Holy Banner. Holy Banner. Attack speed. But it's increased from 20% to 30% duration. From 6 to 3 seconds cooldown reduced from 12 to 6. Okay, so that's not bad. We got Bloodstained Cloth, Conjuration of Light, damage increased by 65%. Bodyguard attack range increased by... Attack range increased by 20%. Okay, so this is getting a buff. Full down reduced from 12 to 9 seconds. Okay. That's cool. Skullcracker Falling Sword. Oh, it's getting a buff. This was good. This was good. The Skullcracker was always good. I can't. I'm just not ready. I told you I love the colors, but Steve of the Spurs is a one on one. You're, you're paid. Great game, and you're paid, though, bro. <laughs> I mean, you're not Sorry. beyond paid as you should have been without Victor. But it's a one on one patch auto, bro. That is probably the most ultimate tease you can have. It's a one of one, bro. God damn. I told you guys select was going to start slapping, bro. I know these boxes, guys. I rip up select all the oh, time. Sorry, that's and being reconnected. Davis. I rip it up all the time, man. I know so. Guys, I know select better than any. Okay, sorry about that. I'm doing a card break, too. It's one of the things I do. I almost hit a massive card. That would have been. I thought the Spurs. If that was a Victor Wimbenyama. I would have probably just lost it on stream on uh, on my video right now. Journey, okay. Let's look at Demon Hunter. Vengeance damage increased by twenty one percent. Reduced projectile projectile damage from, and no one cares about that. Gearing can. Uh, summons cannot be targeted. No one cares. Waltz of the Shadow. No one cares. Century. This is they're getting you uh. Fucking, uh, this is, uh, getting a little debuff here. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Monk, Noble's pal. Okay, so let's see let's see what they did with Monk. Okay, I'm 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 hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they did something. Flying Dragon, because his skills are really good. Skill can now only be activated if nearby enemies are affected by some sort of knockback or force. Oh, they're they're really activating skill will teleport you to applicable enemy, unleashing a series of attacks. Okay, so they are. Look at this. Unleashing a it will activate a skill will teleport you to an applicable enemy. Unleashing a series of attacks and running untargetable. So you're getting the untargetable thing now. Damage increased by eleven percent and it's getting the cooldown decrease. Okay, that's that's nice, but I mean meh. Uh okay, Vendeni Sting, this is good. So now they're getting a debuff. So it stacks up to three times, but you gotta hit them. Gotta hit them a lot of times. Fist of Aranok. Flying Dragon is damage per stack increased by 3%. Or the Sea Wave Strike out an effect where enemies are pulled to the center. Radius increased by 50%. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so let's see if they nerfed anything on the Necro. Ram Shackle Scythe Bone Spear. Larger Bone Spear that penetrates enemies without reducing damage now occurs 100% of the time. Are you serious? Wow, up from 50%. So now you get 100% on the Bone Spear on the Ram Shackle Scythe. Silvered Wings now fires three Scatter Lances, and then the enemy can only take. Damage from one lance at the most. Craving Bay. Damage increased by 20%. Okay, so this was a main hand. Wow. People were using this before on some builds. Now they're really going to be using it. Sorry, this is a lot to go over. And I get distracted real easy. Um, race Greek Trues, Grim Scythe no longer chills enemies. Um, no longer chills enemies, reducing their attack speed. Instead, now grants you 5%. That's gay. Uh, no, that's stupid. That's, that's not good. What's this? Hold on one second here. What that is? Oh, fuck. I don't care. Gate Fist Kelm, Grim Scythe. Armor tearing effect changed from 10%. Okay, so they're kind of not buffing it. Coat of Ashram, like Nova for the wizard. Um, This is cool. So Lightning Nova's getting a little a little buffy buff there. Basis Resourceful Countess. Scorch, damage increased. By 24%. Radius increased by 50%. Ah, that's no good. No longer stuns. Come on. You got Arcane Wind. This will bloom. This is a good one. Maximum charges increased by 1. Damage increased by 20%. Duration from 5. Reduced from 5 to 3 seconds. Cooldown reduced from 9 to 6 seconds. So more damage. Less cooldown, less duration. Okay, so that's not bad. Oh, we're getting new gauntlets. Look at this. Inferno gauntlets. Before December 13th. That's when they expire. Oh, is that my guy right there? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. I like those. Loadouts for reforge items. I like this. You'll unlock a loadout for free after reforging 240 times. Oh, that's cool. Challenge rifts. Oh, by 50. They're increased by 50. We have reduced the number of spiders. <laughs> Clearing the cobwebs. Okay. First kill of the day changes. I like this. I like this. Me gusta.
I like that. Okay. Doesn't say what they're going to be, but I'll take it. Familiar changes. Okay, they're, they're changing that. New achievements. In tandem with this major, we're releasing new achievements. Okay, I'll take that. New chapters or a resetting. One to six. And that looks good. I'll take it. Bug fixes. I'm not gonna look at those. So 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 far everything's good. Um, so things are getting buffed. Some things are getting uh, nerfed. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be one hell of a one hell of an update with the runes and things like that. The eight thousand resonance thing, where people are getting these huge buffs, are gonna be kind of crazy. Um, we won't know exactly how good it is until it comes out, but. Hopefully it won't break the game too much and then all the new marketplace stuff Hopefully it won't get anyone banned because as you know when they did that with the pets uh, People did get banned just for doing regular stuff. You know what I mean? so Hopefully nothing like that happens the algorithm stays right and we get uh, you know some new players in there we get uh, some cool new builds going on so yeah, um I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be different. And some people might like it. Some people might not. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry for the long one, but there was a lot to cover. This is a huge, huge update. Is the two year. And uh, hopefully everyone has good luck uh, in this market here. So I'll holler at you guys in the next one. Peace.